Okay, I'm gonna try to get these uh, rusty nuts off and then that third one needs to come off because that the mechanism in there is this guy. So this sits pretty much this on the inside. It's actually able to get that one off. And is able to get this one off too. And I should replace these, but don't have them. But we just have this one screw left right there. screw you gotta take out is on both sides so make sure you take both screws out and that'll pop right out. Okay once those screws are out all you have to do is just pull this latch uh, a little bit and this will just basically fall right out. As you can see it's just nothing really holding it in place other than those two screws. So once you have that out now we're gonna have to take the panel this panel off to get access to um, to here. Okay, that popped off pretty easily. Now I'm gonna try to position myself here so you can see what's happening. There's a mechanism there. So this screw, I mean this bolt, that bolt, there, and this bolt I need to come out so I can get this out of the way and actually get to the bracket which is back there. These clips actually pop, pull out really easily. There's no, they're not like chamfered or anything. When they go in, they go into the thing and then this locks them in place. So all you have to do is pop this off and they'll slide right out real simply. So I got that off real quick. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Once you pull this clip off of the um, rod, then you can just push that through. And that's it. Now you just pull that out. That's it. Now with the old. There you go. Look pretty much identical. The slides on there too. So there you go. Exactly the same. Now I'm going to spray some uh, white lithium grease on this thing to basically pre-treat it. Once I put it in, I'm not gonna get my hands covered in grease for no reason. But I'll put this in and I'll spray some white lithium grease all over this stuff. There's really only one way it can go in, so it's not like you can put it in backwards or whatever. Kinda just falls right in. As you can see, that was kinda easy. Okay, it's really hard to do uh, while I'm holding the camera, but as you can see, that rod, I unwound it, like I unscrewed the end of it this end so it's about the same length as this one uh, see how it's threaded the end so I s turn it a couple of times so it, it's about that length and then I just uh, focus I just snapped it into place there um, you see that rod going straight back I snapped that into place um, and now I'm just gonna put it all back together it's really surprisingly straightforward these clips I uh, just leave them in place. I uh, just pull the rod out, leave the clips in place, then when you put the rod back through, you just push this over and it snaps onto the the rod shaft and that's it. I can give you a quick demonstration on this. I mean, it's straightforward, but so the rod will slide in and then you snap that into place and that and then it holds it in place and that that's pretty much all you all you have to do. Okay. So I don't know if you can see that. I was able to just use a a screwdriver and pop that plastic um, uh, bracket off and that um, rod just falls down and then you can screw that in a little bit further. Um, I apparently had it too far out and it wouldn't let this mechanism actually lock. Anyway, it's, it's a little black piece of plastic in there that um, prevents this from closing if you don't have uh, that rod at the right length. Um, so make sure you adjust that down. I thought I would have to take this all apart, but you can easily get to that after the fact. So 
it's not too big of a deal if you don't have it perfectly the right length to begin with. Pop that clip back on. There you go. It's all really simple to do. Like none of it is. Uh, it looks like a little, a little more complicated than it really is, but it'll take you like five, ten minutes to get it all done. Go ahead and double check your mechanism. Looks like that works. Put the screws back in. So I got a new handle that I 3D printed. It's got the uh, relief and the two parts that'll go on. Okay, so that's the 3D printed uh, handle that I put on. Um, once it's on there, you're never going to see it anyway, but it does look uh, pretty much like factory. It's got the relief there for your fingers to go into, so you can, uh, you can see that. Come on, focus. Yes, yeah, so you got the relief there for your fingers, and it uh, fits right on to those tabs. Um, what I would do is spray some white lithium grease into um, the openings for the tabs first on the plastic piece and then stick it on. This way you won't have any moisture collecting at the bottom of that. I'm assuming that's what uh, caused it to rust out in the first place. It works perfectly good. And yeah. Nice. I'm gonna be honest, that relief feels really good. Kind of like that better than the original. It's got a nice, uh, substantial feel to it. If anybody wants one, just let me know. Alright, thanks.